So over on the Call of Duty blog for Season 5, we have the overview of our last DLC coming to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. It says here that the content summary for mid-season, so we won't even get it at the beginning of Season 5, but Season 5 reloaded. The end is here. Descend into the Dark Aether to disrupt the server and link between Dr. Jansen and the Entity. Experience a gravity-defying Dark Aether arena featuring Ethereum launch pads and an all-new boss. Nice, we'll have an all-new boss. Brave the Dark Aether and unlock the new replayable experience and earn three new schematics. So I assume that's the Dark Aether portal will be the new replayable experience. Uh, final story mission mid-season. Operation Deadbolt must face the ultimate challenge in confronting the entity in a terrifying new section of the Dark Aether. Use Ethereum launch pads to soar through the environment and keep away from the dangerous hordes. This reminds me of uh, Outbreak with the launch pads lurking in the background. Prepare to abandon all hope as you make your way towards the cinematic conclusion and the final boss fight. So we're going to have an end cutscene. This is going to be fun. Survive the narrative-driven story mission to unlock the conclusion cinematic and secure the first piece needed to access the new Dark Aether Rift. So that's what we got, a new Dark Aether Rift mid-season. Stay alert for clues and work with the community to discover the path towards a lucrative and lethal Season 5 reloaded Dark Aether Rift. This perilous challenge offers players a fresh new experience, the Dark Aether, and awards the opportunity to earn powerful rewards. We're talking about these schematics. These are what you're gonna earn in there. So we have Disciple Bottle, Grenade, Bandolier, and Stash Increase. Deploy with your squad to unlock and acquire the following schematics. Boosting your damage and permanently increasing your carrying capacity. Disciple Bottle, spawn a friendly disciple to wreak havoc on your foes. Grenade, Bandolier, Replenish your lethal and tactical equipment over time, allowing you to regularly bombard enemies. <clears throat> Why they got to throw tongue twisters in there? So that's a really, really good schematic right there. Replenish your tactical and lethal equipment over time. And then we have stash increase. Increase your stash size to 30. Get looting. So we're finally going to be able to have our stash increased. Fortunately, it's the last DLC where we finally get what we want again. Reminds me in Black Ops 4 when they changed their the system overhaul um, at the very end, the very last update. We finally got what we were asking for. Um, dang. All right. So this is what's happening here for Season 5 Reloaded. At the beginning of Season 5, we're still going to have the same old content. Um... It'd be nice if they just sprinkled things in every now and then for us on these updates where there's no nothing happening. So I don't know what we're going to do right away. Probably just get right back to glitches, I'm thinking, because once this content's out, then I'll be covering this content. I'm not sure if I'll be live streaming yet or just producing videos, but I do want to start live streaming for Black Ops 6, so I might. I might actually uh, live stream for the Easter egg here on Modern Warfare Zombies. Um, I don't know yet though. We'll see. For right now, we got to deal with the launch of Season 5. And then uh, a few weeks will pass. We'll finally have Season 5 reloaded where this content will drop. Then we'll be back in it. Um, probably have the beta right around the corner. We know now that that's two days after the Call of Duty Next event. And then we'll be right in with Black Ops 6 Zombies. So, looking forward to the journey. If you like Zombies content, be sure to subscribe and uh, activate that bell notification, man. If you want to level up fast in Zombies. See you next time, fellas. Violent out.